what they're seeing is you looking right at them, and then in their little hearts they go, oh, she saw me. <laughs> That's what we want. And if they can't see your eyes, they're not going to get that special feeling, which is what we want. So we're going to talk about techniques that you can use to make that happen. The first thing to remember is that light colors move things forward and dark colors move things back. When you want to show something off, you make it lighter in color. When you want to make it received, you make it darker in color. So it's like light and shadows, right? So we're going to sculpt your face with light and shadow, and then we're going to use some tricks to um, <coughs> literally change what your face looks like. And you'll be amazed at how different it looks. Um, the way we can make our eyes visible to the audience is by not making this your eye, but by making that your eye. Your eyebrow becomes the top of your eye, and this becomes the bottom of your eye. So your eyes are now this big instead of that big. That's why, I know it's weird, that's why your best Saturday night going out dancing makeup doesn't work for Sage. Um, the other reason that I especially wanted to do this for you guys now is the little nightmare that we had um, with Nutcracker with all the beautiful new white costumes and lipstick all over them. Here's the deal. Lipstick has no place in stage makeup. There's a much better way to do it. A much better way to do it. It won't end up on the costume and it will stay on and it won't get stuck on your teeth. You know your lipstick gets stuck on your teeth? Won't happen with this. This is why lipstick is not for stage makeup. So, no more lipstick backstage at all. You won't need it. You won't need it.
in the middle of your eyelid. I think what it does is it mimics the sparkle in your eye. What happens is, if you start bringing that line down, it closes your eye up. You want the end of your eye to be up here.
that's what you're looking for. Okay? And it does not, and from there, it looks just like I have a face instead of, you know, sort of clownish when it's close up. But there are some other tricks that you can use. There, there might be an old fashioned trick that I use a lot.
different shades for different skins. I'm, I'm using the light olive today because I'm green. Um, I also, um, if Whoa! <laughs> um, just something that looks good on you. Something you would wear on Saturday night. 
Okay. So your little crown is going to sit right there. Okay. Nice to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And they'll go 